how to coach executives. So, I mean, coaching executives is it's not a generic question, uh, even though it was asked in a generic way. It depends on the person. I mean, some people are really into the whole pedigree thing, and so what I mean by that is some people are groomed to become an executive, and they're in certain circles, and so you have to really find out like their likes, dislikes, interests, and then to coach them, you want to try to align with that, not out of compliance in terms of that you're going to adopt their political beliefs and all that stuff, but just for less friction, uh, you know, less friction in the interaction. The goal at the end of the day is identifying the problem the executive is having and, and preventing them from playing the game better, the game of business, the game of life, uh, and then helping them through that challenge. And so to coach them though, sometimes you might need to be a stern but loving parent. You might have to have tough love, but you have to build trust, right? And how do you build trust? You build trust by understanding who they are and finding a, a way to interact with them that they enjoy. So what that means is that you have to learn about who they are. You have to adapt you know, yourself to that situation. If, you know, sometimes people just get along and connect, but sometimes, you know, your grandma's around, you might change how you talk a little bit, you might not swear as much. If you're recording a video that's going to be put publicly online, you might be careful and make sure that you don't say it right. But now, I would try to use my words clearly so I don't slur or, right? So, how do you coach an executive is all about identifying the problem that they're having, preventing them from playing the game better, identifying their personality traits and their character, so that way you can try to mold with that in a way that's enjoyable for both groups and, and moderately frictionless, and then just help them on a consistent basis. And that depends on what you've negotiated in terms of how often you, you talk and help. I'm a really big fan with daily, uh, a big fan of daily and weekly disciplines. My personal philosophy is that everything that we want in life comes from our 24-hour routine. Uh, maybe weekly routine, and then there's kind of monthly things on it. But I've really noticed that in my life, if I don't give it daily attention, it doesn't really progress. Um, so anything that's important to me, I, I have to make sure I focus on it daily if I really want to see results. So I mean, how do you how do you coach an executive? It just depends on the time that they have available, on what the problem is. And executive coaching itself is a broad term. It could be anything from helping someone overcome self-esteem issues. Uh, helping them become a better communicator, helping them develop leadership skills, helping them learn how to market and sell better, helping them understand things about supply chain management, or like there's 101 things. So without knowing, it's a generic question, but you really need to start off with a specific problem that they're having, and that's half the battle. Now that you've got the problem out of the way, now you have to deal with the people part. The people part, making sure that, you know, like our manners, what I consider manners, you consider manners. Any any boundaries or rules that you have, I don't offend, and vice versa. Like you got to get the human piece out of it, and then you have to build rapport and trust, and over time, and then you need to uh, hopefully set up ways that you can measure results for them, so that way they can see their progress. Because typically, one thing I've learned over the years is that uh, working with any client in any field is two parts. It's one part doing what they paid you to do, and the second part helping them see it, appreciate it, and understand the value of it. I mean, I, the, you watching this, you might have experienced something where you were working on something for a client, killing yourself, but they didn't see it, they didn't know what you did, they didn't understand that you were up till late trying to fix the smoke, right? Like, there's all those unseen things so part of it is actually helping them with the problem, but then the other one is helping them see what you're doing to help them with the problem. Um, and I think those are all equally important, right? It can be frustrating because you can be very good at what you do, but then maybe not good at communicating that you've done it and helping people see what you've done. And so I think to be an effective executive coach, you have to be able to do both on top of all the other things that I mentioned. If you'd like to learn more, you can go check out bestbusinesscoach.ca. You can look at some of our programs and also get more answers to questions like this one.